Well, Justin, we're hearing word of yet another holdup for Obamacare. There are brand new reports this morning. The administration has delayed a key step in the looming implementation. Reuters reporting that the government has postponed a deadline for insurance agencies to finalize the plans they'll sell on federal exchanges. It comes just over a month until open enrollment is supposed to begin. Charlie Hurd is a columnist for The Washington Times and Joe Trippi, a former campaign manager for Howard Dean and a Fox News contributor. Gentlemen, good morning. Good thanks, morning, Jamie. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, he hey, Charlie, I'm starting with you. I want to ask you this. Now, Michigan is talking expansion. They've gone ahead and done that. And there's another step delayed by the administration. What's changed, really? Well, I, I think what we're seeing, Jamie, is, is a really startling admission from the administration that, uh, you know, with every week that, that passes, uh, that key elements of the plan that they, that they put forward are not going to work, or at least are not going to work on time. And you have to remember, uh, and I view all of this very cynically after, after having watched this for, for several years now, uh, you know, President Obama was very careful to, to, uh, uh, to bring us Obamacare, but not let any of it take effect until after he won re-election. And now that he's won re-election and he's safely re-elected and he's not going to face voters again, all this unpopular stuff is starting to hit uh, the marketplace. And what you have is Democrats in Congress who still face re-elections coming back to the administration saying, guys, we can't do this. We can't shoulder a re-election and the burden of, of, of the unpopularity of this if all this stuff takes place. And I think that, that I think it, these are all political reasons why the administration is postponing all of these uh, key elements. And Joe, let me ask you about this postponement they say is due to technology. Uh, we all are familiar now with the debt clock. There's also the cost. If they implement any parts and they don't work, it could cost even more. How does the president develop a strategy that actually gets this plan to move past all of this? Well, I mean, the, the, the key real date that matters, Jamie, is uh, January 1st. That's when all the policies would go, I mean, the actual insurance policies, health insurance policies would actually go into effect. So what you're seeing today, I mean, I actually think today's uh, revelation, revelation isn't all that great. Uh, it doesn't, what, what they're talking about doing is delaying um, these exchanges going into the marketplace. Uh, Oregon's already said it was going to do that, move it from October 1st to October 15th. The administration promised everything would start on time, but we're talking about 20 percent of the nation's economy being altered here by this law. So, it, it, you know, getting whether the the marketplace exchanges go into uh, uh, into place October 1st or October 12th doesn't really matter. What matters is that the marketplace opens up sometime in October and that the policies go into effect on, on January 1st. And at that point, I do agree, at some point in November of 2014, the American people are going to have a vote on how this all impacted well, them and will. who was right. Yes, they and, will. And we still can't tell the American people where Obamacare will be the day they go to cast that vote. But Republicans seem steadfast, uh, Charlie, on defund or delay, but not this way. So yeah. what well, should their strategy be? The, the, for Republicans, you know, uh, their challenge is uh, that, you know, they can do this defund thing or, or whatever, but they also need to marshal their ideas. And they have a lot of good ideas, but they have not been describing them lately very well. I think if you ask most voters, what are Republicans' ideas about health care, and they would, they would have no idea what their, so their ideas are. So more clarity, you're saying. Yeah, I have to leave it there, but guys, I really thank you both for weighing Thanks, in. Thanks, Jamie. I know you'll be back, too, on this. <laughs> Good to be with you, Jamie. Great to see you. John?